The Film Stars crew, crew reviews, reviews Zombie Land Double Tap. Tap. Bang, bang, bitch. <laughs> Hey team, Angus Strachan here, and welcome to the Film Slice Podcast. I'm here, as always, with my co-host, Kane Diggly Wiggly Kane Dogs. Thank you. And the man formerly known as Bro Diddly Doo, Broadman Richards. This week, he is known as... Melbourne. Victoria. Damn. Oh, damn. Okay. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, very close. close okay. okay. Uh, Melbourne? Yeah, yeah Melbourne. Sure. Okay, that makes sense. Hey. Uh, sweet. This week, we are reviewing Zombieland Double Tap, the second installment to the Zombieland franchise. Yep. Kane Dogs. You. Oh, hit us up with that IMDb summary. Get I this, am D- Get this zombie on a roll. Summary. I am zombie summary. Go. Columbus, Tallahassee, Wichita, and Little Rock move to an American heartland as they face off against evolved zombies, fellow survivors, and the growing pains of a snarky makeshift family. E V O L D I E, zombies. <laughs> Sweet. All right. When did you see the movie and what did you think? When did you see the movie? What did you think? <laughs> Do you like the movie? No, <laughs> <None of> the <laughs> shit. <laughs> When you see the movie and what did you think? I'm gonna go and have a drink. That joke joke has nothing to do with the film, by the way. (laughs) Or anything else, really. No. And, yeah. Kane Dogs, when did you see the movie? What did you think? When did you see it? What did you think? I saw the movie on Saturday, so Uh two days ago. Uh, That would make today Monday. I thought it was rubbish. Um, I think, you didn't like it? No, nah, I thought maybe it would have been an okay film had it come out like closer to the first one. Not so that those films are closer together, but because it would have been at the beginning of the whole zombie land sort of peak that we hit over the sort of the last 10 years of just getting zombie like TV show and zombie movie after movie after movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I'm not really excited just by the idea of zombies now there needs to be a lot more in a film for me to care and this film just didn't really bring anything else to the table outside of we've got zombies and when there's a table you always bring something to it that's true (laughs) yeah no I wasn't impressed or the chair well it wasn't wasn't. well if you bring a chair you're a top bloke (laughs) I wasn't impressed unless it's just a table people just standing around it's awkward you know everyone wants to play ping pong you don't have any ping pong balls it's just boring Melbourne Melbourne I saw it about two hours ago with my main man, Angie D. <laughs> yo, yo, Angie D in the house. Yeah. The small um, D. <laughs> the small D. A little D. That's yeah. what he's known as. I'm Biggie D and Angus is the small D. Um, <laughs> Ironically named. Co-rappers. Um, uh, if you have any presents you want wrapped, just let us know. That's it. We're known as double Ds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brody, what did you think of the movie, though? Uh, I loved it. I had, I had a fun time. You really? Know, yeah, I really enjoyed wow. it. I really, I really enjoyed it. I mm. thought it was great. Uh, There's a lot of little references to the first one, and I was just like, yeah, I got these. It's nice. Yeah. And uh, everyone had a, had a genuine... I thought it was going to be god-awful, and I had a genuinely good experience. It was Do you fun. think maybe your experience and or your perception of the film was heightened because you saw it with the old little D? <laughs> um... Well, he did. He did bring me a pizza. Do you think you would have enjoyed nice? the movie if you'd seen it by yourself? Yeah, yeah. I, okay. I, I generally, generally think I, I would have. Uh, yeah. So I, I saw it with Big D over there, hey. and uh, yeah, I, I also loved it. I really enjoyed Zombie Land One, and mm. uh, I think I watched it uh, fairly not like recently, recently, but enough that it was in my mind. Oh, really? oh yeah, that's. Like I haven't a, seen it for at film. least you know a year, a year and a mm. half, maybe two years. Yeah, um, but I I really enjoyed it. I was it was a good fun time. I had a lot of lot of gags in there that landed for me, hmm. and uh, yeah, it was a fun romp. Yeah, fun. Yeah, sweet. All right, lads. You know how every week without fail, I put up on Instagram what movie we're reviewing, and I uh, ask our slicey slices up yep. there. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. In fact, you are like we rely. You are our rock in this podcast. The yeah. one consistency that we have in this podcast, we rely on. I you think for. out of ninety four episodes, you've only missed maybe one. Or and I'm pretty weeks. sure on that day you were very drunk. Yeah. yeah so outside yeah. of that. So. By the way, go back and listen for that episode. You'll know it when you find it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most of the others, he was a bit drunk as well. So it might be a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, that's that's it. Uh, Gay Dogs, Bird Man. It's so right that I am the rock of this group. And I definitely did not forget to put it up until later. Um, as is shown by this uh chronological uh recording uh we know this because we're all still here aren't we yep yep, yep. still here 
Yep. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, let's get into it. This is what our Slicey Slices thought of. Okay. So, we've got from uh, not.filmslice.host. He says, I was walking down the street one day and I saw a frog. And (laughs) replying to that is Superman91 at not.filmslice.host. This feels like a terrible joke, probably to do with some pun about ribbits or hopping or something. Not.filmslice.host replies to Superman91, I looked away from the frog and threw mandarins at Jordan for being a little tit goblin. (laughs) Um, Replying to that, Superman91 says, at not.filmslice.host says, I was wrong. Not.filmslice.host replying to at Hoofman91 says, I hit him in the shin and he hopped away. Dot, dot, dot. So that's, uh, I guess, fairly irrelevant from uh, from the movie. But I guess, yeah, that's uh, that's what our Slicey Slices thought of Zombieland on, uh, on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that's what our slices slices thought. Uh, Kano, oh, has anyone hit you uh, up on Facey? I, I I see what's going on here. Uh, yeah, we did actually. What? Yep. Um. All right. Yeah, we got uh one uh on Facebook from Kirby Heinz. He says it was a fun romp, not as good as the first one, but for an easy to watch comedy, it was all right. And then we got another review from uh, the friend I went and saw this movie with, and she said. I'd just say it was a terrible movie. Complete waste, complete waste of time. Sorry for not elaborating. Man. So it's really like, it's it's sounding like you either love it or you hate it. There's mm. no kind of I think it's, it's definitely going to come down to what you're going in for as well, I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I Zombies? Don't know. I, yeah, I guess if you're going in and you just want to see like the first one again, then this one will do that. Mm. I guess I just wanted more out of it. Yeah. It just, yeah. It Fair didn't enough. step Fair it up enough. for the time. I, I think it was um I think it was a pretty good sequel. I yeah. think it, I think it hit the same notes that the first one did without kind of stepping on the first one's toes too much because a lot of times you'll get a sequel, especially if a sequel's made a lot later, it's just kind of like a bit of it's just like so much of a mess mm. and it's always like it was written by someone else, it was directed mm. by someone else and it's just kind of like very thematically it's usually like a bit different and a bit trash. but I think that this film was like this film was made pretty solid. Fair enough. Uh, before we get out of this segment, Broadman, last week, we were just the elephant in the room. You had a bit of trouble with Twitter. Yeah, had a bunch of zombie hackers last week. Yeah. This week. We're good. This weirdly week. enough, no zombie hackers. Uh, oh, that's good. Some oh, tree good, good, folk. Good, 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 good. That's right. People that are made out of trees. Wait, they, they, they hacked in this week. Oh. Um, i sure there's a hack joke here somewhere. No. Oh, okay. No, no, not really. Just people made out of so trees. So I'm, I'm barking up the wrong tree. Jordan's got the biggest smile on his face, but me and Angus <laughs> look confused and disappointed. Are you a dog? Is that... I'm barking mad. Oh, you know what? Never mind. There's one person out there that is appreciating these. And it's and you. you. Yeah, and it's me. It's me listening to this tomorrow. Hi, future Jordan. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks well, for listening. I hope you haven't completely fucked up my life. <laughs> wow. Well, sorry for going down that route, but uh, we'll be back on our regular <laughs> scheduled program soon. Uh, how's Twitter going these days, though? Oh, yeah, it's pretty shite, oh. to be honest. I'm, right, so... Right. Yeah. Well, I Just mean, with all no the hackers... Life. You know, I've been doing this Twitter thing for a while now. It's been going for the better part of this year. Yeah. And I think we've been hacked every week... <laughs> And you so it's starting to become just a bit of a nuisance. Some would say you're the common denominator. Maybe it's your fault. I mean, I'm using Twitter every week. That's a common denominator. Yeah. That, that is true. Well, I mean, it's a dead platform anyway. That's true. No yeah. one uses no Twitter. No one uses it. We yeah. hope. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's... it's yeah. Instagram's where it's at. So it's thank always, God we're... Always hackers. Thank God we're really That's on it. top of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so well, uh, One more comment from uh, Instagram, actually. Sweet. So that's what our slicey slices <laughs> slice thought slice of uh, this, yeah. this week. That's very nice. Look uh, out nice. next week. Just remember to when, go back uh, and edit something in there. What? Shh. Okay. <laughs> uh, look out next week for the next, uh, I guess, social network that I choose to yes. uh, concentrate yeah, on. Yeah, I think we need to move on to Twitter. Twitter, giving up on you, man. Oh, yeah. come on, MySpace. Yeah, I'm ready Too to... easily hacked. Leave Twitter behind. Leave a joke. <laughs> Would you recommend it? Who would you recommend it to? Diggity. You go uh, first. Yeah, look, would it be whom? And whom would you recommend it to? I mean, yes, it would be grammatically correct, but that's never really been a focus of our podcast. Mm. I recommend to... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think... 
Potentially, I'm in a minority here. And therefore, I guess if you really enjoyed the first one, um, go and see this one and make up your own mind. You Mm. might come out of it really loving it, in which case, awesome. But even if you don't, for me, it was a really fun film to, like to dislike if that makes any sense like was some of those films that i would enjoy watching and destroying Mm -hmm. so i guess no matter what if you've got an eye for film like you'll have fun destroying it if that's how you feel about the film and if not you'll enjoy it so i guess i'll recommend it to anyone who was who enjoyed the first one who wants to see a zombie comedy yeah i understand where you're coming from where you're not um like overly happy with it because it doesn't take very big strides in um, developing its concepts and stuff. Like, it's very mm. much... I've got a few... Yeah, it's... there's a few things that I'll touch on that, I don't know, maybe you guys either didn't pick up on or maybe it's just not that important. And that's fine. But to me, there's just there's so many opportunities missed mm. that kind of upset me. Yeah, so. no, that's fair enough. Um, yeah, I, I, I would just say if you really enjoyed the first one and want to see more of that, yeah. then this is, this is a great film. This is see. more of that. Yeah. Yep. Melbs. Melbs. What, a, what segment are we in? <laughs> would you <laughs> recommend it to? Would you recommend it to anyone? Oh, okay, and to whom? Yeah, sure thing. Um, I yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone. Anyone who enjoyed the first one, anyone who's kind of interested in maybe the kind of the opposite of the film that we uh, watched last week, the the Dead Don't Die, very very slow, very yeah. very like fourth wall breaking, all this sort of stuff. Zombieland does some of that stuff, but in a very different way. Mm. It's uh, Zombieland is very action packed. It's very they're always moving somewhere. They're always on the move, like literally and like physically. They're yeah. always going somewhere, and it kind of just drives the film forward. And yeah, just just a bit of fun. Wait, all right, I think we're ready to get into the spoilers of Zombieland. Double tap, double tap into these spoilers, like on Instagram. That's a Fun joke that we've never done before. Oh, what a cool, 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 cool sound effect, Angus. Yeah. All right, we are in the spoiler section where we dissect and divulge everything about the film. Thanks for You've tapping been... twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for tapping twice into the spoilers. Spoilers. Uh, starting off with Cinema Dicks. Kane Dogs, any Cinema Dicks? Cinema um, Dicks. Let me think. No, I had quite Thinking a pleasant cinema experience. This time. That's, experience that's nice. I think first time ever, the there's nothing that stood out to me as being a Cinema Dick. Ever. There was no. no dicks. <laughs> fuck, I mean, maybe Any Brody podcast right dicks? now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but there was there was no like cinema saint, but no cinema dick. I'm cinema dick free today. Nice. All right. No dick dicks free. for me. Good man. Oh. All right, Melbs. Melby boy. Don't have a cinema dick, but I have a cinema saint. Dun, dun, dun. I went and grabbed the tickets. Angus went and got the <laughs> grabbed the tucker. Had a good, had a mad feed in the cinema. It was pretty beasty, man. We both realized that neither of us had anything to eat. So Angus ran off to the Safeway and grabbed some food. And he grabbed two pizzas, Uh, one each, (laughs) and two iced coffees. And smuggled all of that in my jumper. Yeah. Mad feed, man. I, oh man, I'm still so full. And I ate it like hours ago. It was a full... Pizza. So, <laughs> we're the three best friends. I don't know what we're, half, we're the three best. Friends. Yeah, it was. It was. Just, it was also great because I because he smuggled them in his jumper. I couldn't see what he had, so I was like, "Oh, he's probably just got like you know a bag of chips or something." It's a platform, yeah. you know. And then he sits down, and he opens it up, and he pulls out two pizzas and two coffees. I was just like, "Oh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go that, man." Yeah. Uh, all right, uh, gang dogs, <laughs> yo. Uh, on that note, would you mm. like to let out some positives from your bod? Sure, sure, sure. Uh, one thing that will always be a positive for me, I'd like to think, is good old Woody Harrelson. Mm. Woody. He can do no wrong for me. <laughs> I didn't laugh much he in this film. So, he's such a cheeky boy. He is. He's a bloody he's cheeky such a, boy. He's such a cheeky boy. <laughs> I, I didn't laugh much in this film, but every laugh that I did have came directly from Woody Harrelson. How much fun he clearly is having yeah. on set oh, yeah. in every mm. scene yeah. is my favourite thing. Yeah. And he just... He embodies, I guess, my favorite part of Zombieland, which is just that no rules, couldn't give a fuck, yeah. there's no consequences kind of vibe. Yeah. And he's really the only character that takes advantage of that. And you have fun with him having fun with that. of Just like knocking over vases and like kicking the shit out of a car. Like stuff like that is just my favorite part of the first film yeah and yeah, it's yeah. the stuff that i enjoyed the most carrying over into this film it's and like it was that all generated by woody harrelson wild wild west kind of yeah yeah he 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 brought the most laughs to me and the most charisma mm. so woody harrelson is my mm. biggest positive yeah i'd agree with that mel dog um i really enjoyed a lot of the 
the little things. I enjoyed the little things. Uh, I enjoyed the little references to the first one. They were just like, yeah. even when they weren't focused on, you know, little things where it's just like, thank God for rednecks. And yeah, 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 yeah. and just like little stuff like that, where it's like, they didn't make a big deal out of this joke. And it's a reference to the first one. And it took me a moment because I haven't seen the first one in like two years. And I was just like, oh, that's a line from the first one. And yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah. that was really well done. There were so many little moments like that that I thought were really good in this one. Mm. And I think that they did uh, really well with the rules coming up in this in the, in this film. Yeah. I feel like that's something that happened in the first one. They're like, they were like a part of the world. The you know, titles are a rule would it, like yeah. fall off uh, the bumper of a car and stuff like that. And I think they did a great job in this one. There's a bit where that um, Mark Zuckerberg, Jesse Eisenberg, uh, his, <laughs> his character, I always call him Mark Zuckerberg. Um, <laughs> He, his character is like uh, saying a bunch of rules and he made a character very similar to himself. He's got a bunch of commandments. They're very similar. And they keep talking about a bunch of them and yeah. then it cuts to a wide and all of the r- past rules they've been talking about are all broken Just on the floor. Displayed on the floor. And it was yeah. a great moment of CGI of a, like a little joke. It was such a small joke. Yeah. But they put so much effort into this like one shot. It's a wide shot and there's a CGI broken array of letters on the ground of where the rules have fallen down yeah. as if they're in the world appearing and falling down. I thought that was like... That was like perfect, like little cinema moment where I was like, that is so smart. Yeah, definitely. And I, lo- I loved it so Touching much. on that, I think my favorite callback to the first film is there's a scene where Jesse Eisenberg's character is being chased by a zombie and Woody Harrelson is like ready with a baseball yeah. bat type nouva. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. First yeah. film, yeah. Swing. And in this one, the zombie ducks with subverts it. Yeah, it. yeah. And it definitely. subverts your expectation exactly. Like, that in, was my in, favorite callback. In a bad sequel. Or in a bad film, they would have made that the focus of that moment. You know, yeah. it would have, it would have stayed on Jesse Eisenberg for too long. He'd be like, "Don't swing, don't swing, don't swing," and then he would have slid, and he'd mm. be like, "Swing!" And it would have been a big moment. It would have been the focus of that scene. That yeah. Joke. I, and I, in this film, it was just throwaway line. A little thing if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't get it's it. Fine, yeah. And, yeah. It's, and it's like hundred percent fine. There were so many great moments like that, which I think why this yeah. was a good sequel. Also, I think there was a, there was a bit more physical comedy in this where like. Jesse Eisenberg gets hit a bunch of times by Woody Harrelson as well. Oh, yeah. You see, like, yeah. him get hit in the head with I the like guitar the and stuff like that. The furthering of their like, rapport was really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think, like, that's probably my biggest positive as well was that scene or that collection of scenes in particular with the doubling up. Like, and yeah. I think it was the positive because it was funny, it delivered, and then it got rid of it. Like, it didn't hang on too long. Too like, long, yeah. Th- there were new characters introduced for this one gag that they had that they're very similar they let it breathe a bit and then they killed him off and that was fine. That was all you needed yeah. for that. There's a lot of times that those kind of things probably go on a bit too long and it, it, it was also I was just worried. I was also keep good. the whole time. It was also good because it set up a bunch of things. It set up that when you turn into a zombie, you vomit. So like, because I don't think yeah. we saw that much in the first one. You like, I don't think we th- see anyone turn in the first movie. We like, yeah. The only thing yeah. is like, I, there aren't I remember any characters is the girl the in the opposite apartment where she like, I think when she's a zombie, right she start. like stuff yeah. falls out of her mouth. But I don't think she vomits. She starts by going to sleep, and yeah. then he wakes up to her already being yeah, a zombie. Yeah. yeah, and so it's like, and then I'm pretty sure there and aren't so, any other characters in the film. Yeah, and so the vomiting thing, you're like, okay, that's how people turn into zombies. That's interesting. It's also those characters shot with the monster truck, which comes back later in the film. And then it's also a thing where it's like, they have a bit of a rapport now with uh, whatever her name was from. She was from Reno. Is that right? Is that her name? Reno? Um, yeah, something like that. Um, the like, chick from Deadpool. Yeah. Um, no, no. The other- no, Daredevil. She's in Daredevil and all yeah, that. She the is Marvel, in Daredevil. Yes. Marvel yeah, Netflix yeah, yeah. films. Thank you. Um, yeah, her. Um, she's, yeah, I think her name's Reno. Like, a bit of, like, uh, what, like dealing with Reno and dealing with, like, how hard the new zombies are to kill. Mm-hmm. And so, like, that film, that scene did more things than just Definitely. have the joke. Just again. Even though the joke yeah. was really funny. I did, I did like the interaction with the, with their, like, twins, their doppelgangers. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, Kane Dogs. Did you enjoy the Terminator reference? T eight hundred. Uh, I my biggest negative once we get there is the zombies, and so because of that, not really. I enjoyed the Terminator reference, but I just yeah, I don't feel like it was utilized very well for a different reason. Fair it was enough. overshadowed by my negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, and also there's a part where they say actually the T eight hundred is the first model. There is no T seven hundred or whatever. I was like. But there is a T five hundred and a T six hundred. Yeah, I don't know if anybody <laughs> else fucking fuck knew that, but I fucking knew it. So <laughs> yeah. if they're gonna fucking drop that reference, they might as well make their nerds correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Um, so okay, uh, I guess let's go into your negatives sure. then. Uh, before, just just little to sneak a little one in. Um, I loved that pretty much every joke in this film 
came back around for a second time in a slightly different form. Yeah. And I think they did it really well. I love, he like, um, uh, Tallahassee, Woody Harrelson's character, uh, wraps a present in a portrait of a president that's <laughs> yeah. like, uh, in the white house. And then later on in a film, you see in the background, there is a, a painting that's cut been, been cut out. And oh. it's like, I, I love that moment. Yeah. It's such a great, like physical, like, uh, like room. Like it was like a joke in the room, in the background. Yeah. Not everyone's going to see that. Especially in that so scene. Funny. Cause it was like a very, almost like a somber moving moment yeah, and it yeah. just added that little bit yeah. of comedy and you can just see in the book. background there's just like there's just a, a yeah. painting of a president that's been a big square cut out of it there were so many little moments like that that I thought were excellent and that that was really um well written comedy mm. I think the attention to detail is what we're saying there yeah. the attention to detail with the humour and the fact that they paid attention to the jokes they were making so they were consistent mm. within the world it was, it was well written also a really well little sneaky good bit cinematography in a this sneaky good bit yeah Brody's cinematography favourite segment Cinematography was great. I thought this film overall, visually, looked yeah. great. It didn't yeah. look like a like thrown together sequel. It looked like a proper yeah. film. They put effort into making it like time has passed. There's vines growing up all these buildings. Yeah, and it doesn't look like it doesn't look shit. It looks mm. it looks like they like paid attention to this is when we're gonna have a wide CGI shot and we're gonna put effort into this. And I thought they did a great job. Yeah, of that. yeah. Um, I think my favorite scene all up in this whole film is the first the first scene where they rock up to the um, the, the White, White House. House and it's all the slow motion Call back stuff. to the Metallica intro and of the, the first film. Yeah, the Metallica the intro and stuff. That was awesome. And there's just this one shot where it's all like slow motion, but the camera's moving so fast. I don't know how they did it. It must have been either a super fast camera movement or some CGI or something, but it it's a wide shot and it, the camera like swings all the way around and you've got like Woody Harrelson spearing someone with the American flag mm. while like Emma Stone's like cutting someone's head off with a knife and like like the whole crew's there but that that kind of start to the film was just like yep yeah, here we are we're ready let's do mm. this kind of it was, it was a really good start it was a good harken back to the first one i think the first one did it like i think the Probably starting better. of the first one is a really, really good yeah. cinema starting but i think this one had a bit more comedy in there yeah yeah and so for the a first sequel, one had I think to tell was... a story as well yeah the first one yeah. had to deliver a lot of exposition. i think the, the first one has one of those scenes like that opening titles for the first one is almost like a perfect way to open a zombie film yeah. mm. for me mm. and I think this one was did a very good job for an opening of a sequel yeah. I think it did a great job there also just loved the little tidbit of Woody Harrelson wearing Clean Eastwood's classic outfit and from the old western for the people that picked up on that it's awesome it's awesome yeah <laughs> alright so wait, let's head into the negatives things we didn't like about the film go for it Kane Dogs yep okay uh, look my biggest negative for this film is I knew going into it that the story was going to be relatively basic. I didn't expect much out of that. What I expected was some incredible zombie action. Mm. And the people that released this film had to be aware that we've had so much zombie stuff already. So I was like, how are they going to Up change it up so that it is different? And the opening film's like, the zombies have evolved. There are now three types. You've got the Homer, you've got the Hawking, which is really intelligent, and you've got the Ninja, which is silent and deadly. And then they fucking the never come up. <laughs> yeah. They never come up at all. Yeah. We, get, Homer. we Homer get, we get the bunch. Homer come up twice as a joke, which I laughed at once. Mm. And I was like, I was really looking forward to, like, I think the only hawking moment we get isn't actually a hawking. It's like a T-800 and it's that scene where they duck. Right. Mm. So I was like, okay, why did they bother telling us that? Mm. Like they mm. put so much effort into being like. I think like, it's just putting more, like just to show that things are evolving. But, but I, they, I get what but you mean. But they should have, but there's no point giving us that amount of exposition in detail about these three specific types. They should have just been like the zombies have gotten faster and stronger mm. and smarter. Instead mm. of being like, here are the three types. We're going to show you one for the butt of a joke and then introduce a completely new one anyway. And then the new one they introduced, which after that I was like, all right, well, I was looking forward to seeing all the stuff that they did in the first movie not work because of the Hawking or because of the Ninja. Mm. The whole, like, we'll walk into and just ring a bell and we'll hear the zombies coming. That's not going to work now because you've got the Ninja zombies. You can't hear them. Or the whole, like, I'll just, like, you know, if I can't get into my car, I'll do another circuit and double back. It's like, well, the Hawking is just going to wait by your car. I was waiting for, like, those kind of callbacks because yeah, they introduced... Yeah, yeah. But when they didn't do that, I was like, well... Mm-hmm. How are they going to do it? Now, like, there are new zombies. They're like tiered hundreds. They're unkillable. I'm like, all right, well, in that case, maybe we're going to get some real heavy, real, not necessarily gruesome, but some really interesting, creative ways to, like, maybe full on behead it. Mm-hmm. Like, maybe the only way to kill these ones is to behead it. 
But no, nah, you just got to shoot it in the head. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Mm. I feel like this film re- reminds me a lot of like The Walking Dead in, not in like tone or anything, but in the way where it's like in the beginning, the zombies were the issue, but le- the further you go in, the humans are the issue. Mm. And I felt like this one was very much like all about the people, whereas Which the first w- one was about the zombies. Do you know what I mean? I guess so. But I guess in that <clears throat> scenario, then we should have seen some of the people being bad guys like the only bad guys we really got is that Mm. there were people that were like against violence but um my biggest negative i think was towards the end it just fell a bit short for me it felt it felt as if it was setting up to kill off one of the main characters i was really hoping which i would have hated like i think that's totally not what this movie is yeah see i would have hated it but also i think i would have hated it for a good reason would have been like no one of our like beloved characters have died and it kind of it left me kind of on the edge of my seat but it didn't really there wasn't like a payoff or there wasn't like an anti-payoff if you know what i mean it was just like is I is think, that it like what's gonna happen i think the final just kind of fight there. the final stand should have been more fun because yeah. more in, anything cause it was like it one was just, explosion and then they yeah, ran off a cliff it was a bit more kind of along the lines of this is like an actual final stand we're gonna like draw him into this one place set him on fire if we can't do that then we're gonna funnel them all off a cliff mm. you know mm. that was like it, it was kind of like th- it's like an actual plan but I think it should have just been way more fun you know where like oh, because like they're all pacifists they don't have any guns but they have all this other shit they have all these garden tools yeah, so yeah, like, yeah where they're using all these garden tools yeah. and I was like oh but they don't have that they have these things to spray water so we, everyone's got like flamethrowers gonna put the oil through the flamethrowers yeah it would have been know? cool to have <clears throat> I think they should have just it should have just been more fun oh and I really I was waiting for Tallahassee to punch a hippie and that kind of never happened. Yeah, I think, yeah, like, sure. you know, I think that would have been fun. That or, one guy that or kept if a bunch of the hippies just got just got killed, destroyed. You know, they're yeah. all on the front lines. They're like, ah! and then when the zombies come, they're it's all like, like, sh- like get bang. super scared and try to run away, and the zombies just kill them all. And then they're at the top, just going, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Just, I think, I think a, it should have been a lot yeah. more fun than yeah, it was. Definitely. Any other negatives? I think we've all had our negatives. Yeah, look, I'm I'm happy. As I said, I can see why people enjoyed this film. I just I I kept being it kept being ruined for me by missed opportunities. Mm. Fair enough. Yeah, sweet. All right, there we go. That's what we thought. Oh, Zombie Land. Double yeah. tap. The I enjoyed it. it was Are we looking forward to Zombie t- Triple Tap 3? I mean, it should just be Zombie Land 3 because Woody Harrelson keeps writing threes on the That's car. True. That'd be yeah. kind of cool. That's Can't true. wait for that 10 years from now. Yeah, cool. Sweet. All right, we'll look forward to that. Next week, Kane Dogs, we're going to be reviewing... El Camino. No. Um, also, sorry we didn't do that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I watched it. It's good. Cool. That's my review. <laughs> 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 Uh, yeah, we, we how did, good we did that trailer for that Matt Damon and mm. Christian Bale yeah, film look? Ford versus Ferrari. Yeah, I watched that. that. I was like, sick. I don't give a fuck was, about cars, but I will watch. I was the so shit let out of this down movie. by the title though. Yeah, I thought it could have oh, been yeah, a Ford versus title. Ferrari. Yeah. yeah. Uh, next week we are reviewing Gemini Man. I'm real sorry, everybody. We're <laughs> Ge- doing Gemini, Gemini Man. Man. Gemini Man. <laughs> Will Smith <laughs> and Willie with co-star Will Smith. William Smith Officer. Jaden Smith really. Fucking missed out on that. Will <laughs> Suck <a> dick. Smith. <laughs> Suck a dick. Will Smith's son. Will Will Smith Smith? Yes, Will Smith Will Smith. Will Damn. Smith's Willie Smith. All right, so, well, I guess we've exhausted that joke before the podcast <laughs> next week. Oh, uh, oh. See you next week for more Willie Smith jokes. So, yeah. <laughs> see you then. <laughs> Bill Smith, am I, am I right? Thank you for listening to the Film Size Podcast. Thank if you, you enjoy that tasty treat, there's many other tasty treats where that came from. Tasty Hook us up on Twitter, on treat. Facebook, on Instagram, all that jazz. Oh, and we'll see you next week for another fun film podcast of the Film Slice Podcast. Podcast. Okay, bye. <laughs>